Hello, this is Chris Pig uh, talking to you from Black Pig Printmaking Studios here in Froome in Somerset in the UK. Today, today I'm going to tell you about how to get a grip. Um, I'm conscious whilst making these films that I might be teaching my granny to suck eggs in that sometimes with what I'm teaching through printmaking or printmaking practice uh, is the downright bleeding obvious to most of you and you must <coughs> get quite offended by it but um, you must remember one thing although I've been at it for 40 years every time I work, walk into somebody else's studio I learn a great deal because although we're ostensibly all doing the same job we've all got little quirks it's like a, it's like a chef walking into somebody else's kitchen you look around and you see how things are organised and how they do stuff. So that is what I'm hoping these uh, these little videos are going to do for you out there. Right, so today it's paper handling, right? Now this gives me the ab dabs when I see students in the studio doing various different things. So um, I'm going to show you what they are now. This is a sheet of paper, some sort of calcium carbonate stuff, um, coated glossy paper that I don't use but it's hanging around and good for this. Some of the things you must never do, one is to put your thumbs or fingers on the surface that is to be print made, printed on, right? They must always, always remain, uh, remain on the back of the paper like a waiter with a tray, right? That way you will never get inky dabs on the front, right? Inky dab avoid, avoidance is a big thing because if you have done a perfect proof and you've got a great big fat inky mark on it, it's scuppered, right? And it's such an easy thing to avoid if you follow good practice. So, first of all, don't do that. Secondly, when you don't do what you're supposed to not be doing, it's never to do that. It's never to hold the piece of paper by one hand. Look at what I'm doing. This is vandalism, this is. Because, of course, those creases will remain. So just remember, always like a waiter with his tray or her tray. Right, now, another thing is, um, when you're on an audition, you're probably going to get dirty hands, you know, I mean, the ink's all over the bloody shop, so it's inevitable. One way of avoiding, again, avoiding inky dabs of any sort, is with grips. This is just a piece of folded paper, right? Um, it's, it's from offcuts. Don't throw your offcuts away. Take the time and the patience to cut them into little, into little rectangles, fold them in half, and you've got loads of grips. If you have grips, printing and putting up, you'll never get a mark on your paper, right? Belt and braces, another way, this is to bring us on to um, one of the unsung heroes of the studio. This is cal calcium carbonate. In other words, whiting. Now, if on your bed sheet you've got inky dabs, whiting, if you rub a little bit of whiting into the surface, that will neutralise the ink so it won't get onto your, onto, your, um, onto your printing paper. Likewise, although don't take this for granted, it should neutralise most of the ink on your hands to, in theory, make them... Um, free from getting ink on your paper. If you use grips and you use whiting, you should be okay, all right? Um, so, once again, signing off from Chris Pig. Uh, 